and the ball is off target. The closest Liberia have gone to try and pull one back. Nearly after 19 minutes, Anthony Lafour tries to show his strikers what they should be doing. The main in front there for the Eddie Boakai and Willie Patrick Ronaldinho not doing what they were brought to do on the pitch, but possession still for Uganda. Mwesuga Andrew, he gains it back from Tony Maweje. Isinde Isaac. Emma Okui. For Masa Joffrey, who tried to do some bit of trickery for Chistol Waka. But of course, Alamadin there, Omega, not giving him the liberty to do so. Okui, still keeping possession of Okui, which is Toluaga, who is being fouled, but the referee says no, it's Liberia's ball. As Onsu tries to go past Hassan Waswa, Toluaga is still lying on the ground, but the referee allows play to continue. I wonder why they cannot give away the ball for some bit of fair play here. As Liberia try to go towards Ugandan goal, you wonder what kind of sportsmanship is being exhibited here. Somebody is lying on the ground dying and no one can really play the ball out. Probably they haven't seen that happening. They decide to let play continue until Massa Joffrey plays the ball out so that Tisol Waka can get medical attention. Even the doctor... Chisoro Jackson was stopped by the fourth official to go onto the pitch. This game, Uganda is leading it one goal to zero. Since Chisoro Waga got a scratch in his face, getting medical attention. The librarians also walk towards the touchline to get some little bit of notes from their technical men. Sister Waga finally gets on his feet and looks like he'll be able to continue because at least no one was called off from the bench to try to go and warm up. Play will resume by a throw in. Anthony Lofa, who does the sportsmanship, or should I say, fair play gesture? And not very good news for Liberia. Alamadine Omega almost gifting Uganda a chance of a lifetime. One that I'm sure Massa Joffrey would have been able to put away. Also, the left back playing it down to Olise Soko, the Bethy. He has Guma to beat. He does beat him, but the second assistant referee says Olise Soko, the battle was outside. Liberia yet to get a shot on target after 23 minutes of play here. Massa to Chistolwaga. He has a man to beat. Uganda still having possession. They, oh no, Tony Maweje giving away possession in a very, very sensitive area where he thought that the team should have decided to go forward. We see Theo Wicks playing it down to we see Solomon. Long one looking for Patrick Willie, but he is beaten by Isine Isaac to that one in the air. Andy Mwesugwa, together with Odonkara, failing to communicate there. 
as Fode Eddie Boakai was rushing towards them, but the ball being played out for a throw in. Odonkala rushed a little bit to come in there when his captain had everything under control and almost they had gifted Liberia a chance of a lifetime, but they recovered early enough. Goma Dennis, I wouldn't say controls beautifully as Liberia try to move forward. Anton Lefoy playing a little bit deep in midfield. Anton Lefoy, the man you think that should be leading the line for them as a cross comes in, Odonkara passing it away. Tizitoluwaga battling there, Unsu Ture. To fool the referee, but you got against possession. Master Joffrey, Master Joffrey beats his man, Lucy Solomon. Master Joffrey rushing towards goal. He has Alamadin to beat, but he doesn't play the ball when Maladin is beaten and the ball is still in play. He should have thought that Master Joffrey would have chased that ball down, he would have been able to get it. Probably thought that the referee had called for a foul. Joffrey Walusimbi, Tony Maweje, Tinsul Waga on this one, but of course he is denied by Unsu Ture. Unsu Ture, you would say, has got Tinsul Waga under his skin for the last 10 15 minutes. He hasn't really enjoyed himself, you would have thought that he would be able to enjoy. But there are lots of options on the bench that can do the job. That Luaga is doing today, Moses Oloya is one of them. Martin Kayongo Mutumba is the other one. Those are all players that can't really come off the bench. I miss Cesar Diego for the goals. Senongo Robert for the goals. So the cranes are not really doing badly. Henry Kalunji can come on for anyone in the central defense area there. Joseph Ochaya for Warusi Mijofre. Nicholas Wadada for Goma Dennis anytime. Everything is covered as Tony Maweje here. Just doesn't take that ball seriously. It's a goal kick for Liberia. You're watching Paul Spoto TV from the Mandela National Stadium. Uganda Cranes is leading this game. One goal to zero. Geoffrey Walusimbi to Emma Okwe. Tony Maweji playing it down for Emma Okwe. He has Alamadin to beat. And the ball goes out for a throw in. Continues to was actually Tony Maweje, not to Luwaga. Luwaga trying to muscle Alamadin for the ball there. It's in play. Maweje whips in across, but it's way, 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 way too wide for Master Joffrey. Who hasn't really been utilized today as Frank Jericho Ngabe, the coach of this librarian side tries to come to the bench asking his players to do what they should be doing and what they shouldn't be doing. Masa giving a possession. Ose Jabate playing it down to Karanga Zan Harani Anthony Lofua. We see Theo Weeks. Looking for Unsu Ture. Unsu Ture has a chance to whip in across. But no, Ande Mwesigwa stopping there for the Eddie Boakai. Guma Dennis 
Guma Dennis playing in for Masa Jofre, who doesn't really get his food to eat. Onsu Ture playing one for Patrick Welly. Patrick Welly has ball in possession, but of course, is cleared by Wanfumi Godfrey. You wonder what Isinde Isaac was thinking there, not to take Willy Patrick seriously. As Emma Okwe is fouled just at the center half here by Lewis Theowicz. Guma Dennis failing to keep that one in position. A very good ball from Hassan Waswa. He thought if Guma Dennis had anticipated earlier that he's coming towards him. He was in a very good angle. He had all the time, space in the world to whip in across for his teammates or even to move towards the goal area. Anything can happen once he's down there. The Cranes midfield have relaxed a little bit. They have stopped playing the game that they played the first 20 minutes. I should say the entire team is not really taking matters seriously here. But it's our disease. We always play very good football in those first 10, 15 minutes. When we get what we want, we intend to rest. Of course, our relaxation has invited Liberia into the fray here. You can see that they are now playing football, getting comfortable. Even their fans have started to appreciate them. Willie Patrick being stopped there by Andy Mwesigwa. But they still have possession. Duse Soku beating Hassan Wasa there. Who is in a cross? But of course, he has taken the safety hands, rather the safe hands of Robert Odomkara. After 30 minutes, Liberia get a shot on target from their danger man, Olise Seku Jabate. But Odonkara does what he does best for St. George in Ethiopia to save that one. The first time in this game that he has been needed to come and save the cranes. And oh boy, what a save from the lucky goalkeeper Okwe for Guma Guma playing a ground ball but playing it straight to Jaliba Francis Okwe some reckless play there from Anton Lafoy Okwe lies on the ground he looks to be in pain Lafoy trying to pull him off the ground but it will be a free kick for Uganda it looked to be like a bookable offense, but I believe a set piece is good enough for Uganda as the referee signals that play by my whistle. Don't kick the ball before I play the whistle. It will be Walusimbi Godfrey. He has one goal for Uganda so far in this campaign, Walusimbi Godfrey. From 12 yards, that was against Senegal. We we'll beat the team, but very high for Geoffrey Massa. As Shaman Nathaniel grabs it. For the Eddie Boaki. For Ture Onsu. Ture Onsu, he has Okwe and Guma Dennis to beat. He hoops in across. Still in possession. As Liberia try to do some bit of victory here. Olise Soko Jabate. That would have been very, very, very embarrassing for the Cranes defense if that ball had gone into the back of the net. But Odeokara Robert and Guma Dennis failing to communicate off a set piece. For the Eddie Bowaki, playing it back to Olse Soko Jabate. 
who tries it from so short range but just tried to net it. Tony Mawaja. A free kick against for the Eddie Boaki. Mawaja wins it, but Liberia has possession. You wonder what is going on. As Olise Suku Jabate lies on ground here. Looks like he will need medical attention. Some payback there. There has been some rough play in the game, but mostly from the Liberians. But now they get a chance to get a dose of their own medicine. As Lewis Theo Wicks gets off, needing some medical attention. We see Solomon, Anthony Lafour, as Tony Mawaje gets it off the foot of Olise Soko Jabate. Long one for Anthony Lafour. He has Adam Mwesuka to beat. He beats him, but Willie Patrick can't go past his Cindy Isaac. Uganda going for again. Emma Okui having two men to beat as he fouls Lewis Theo Wicks. He looks to be a little bit sad. He looks to be in pain. He's holding his knee. Jackson Soro coming in there. The referee and his first assistant together with Master Joffrey trying to find out if really Okui is not doing that well as Daniel Muzei Selunkuma signs up to start warming up. That can only show that he was the first choice option off the bench in case any of the strikers wasn't performing. Muzei Selunkuma scored from 12 yards on his debut. A friendly against Rwanda in Amahoro Stadium. It ended 2 2. Serum Kuma. But that will all depend if Okui cannot really continue. Alamadine Omega. Lewis Theo Wicks. Unsu Ture. Ulysses Oku Jabate. Theo Wicks, Alamadin, Galiaba Francis, Anthony Lofoa, Omega, Alamadin, Unsu Ture, Liberia trying to drive forward, Willie Patrick, as Unsu Ture tries to find his way past Adam Mwesigwa, Babatis and Hassan Waswa, he fails, Tries to fool the referee, but no, it's goal kick Uganda. Looks like Emma Okui will be ready to continue with play here. As Daniel Serum from also makes his way back to the bench.
Dennis Guma. To Emma Okui. Down the right, Emma Okui goes against Ture Usu. As Wiki Solomon taps the ball out for a corner kick. If I'm not mistaken, this is the first corner kick of the game. After 40 minutes. For Uganda. And it will be Walusimi Godfrey. Walusimi whips it in. The goalkeeper tries to tap it. Ball still in play. But the referee says... It was another corner, it is rather another corner kick for Uganda. The players wondering what really went wrong, but according to the first assistant referee. And this time round, it will be Emma Okui. Tries to bring in a ground ball, Hassan Wasa fails. To tap it in, still Emma Okui. We've seen a good one here, straight into the hands of the man Nathaniel. As Libre also try to drive forward for their own search or quest for a goal here. Only one shot on target from them, and it came after 30 minutes. A long ball here. But straight into the safe hands of Robert Ogosara, who's being fouled by Patrick Kweli. Seems we'll need medical attention. Patrick Kweli is a very, very dirty player. That's why the Cranes players are refusing his apologies. I mean, he tried to play some bit of dirty games that was against Isaac in the other run. And the Moesco wasn't also happy about it. As Jackson Chisoro, the doctor here, and the goalkeeping coach, Fred Kajoba, try to attend to Robert Odonkara. And the Moesugwa, not very happy. Hassan was not very happy about the way Patrick Welly played against Robert Odonkara as Abel Dara also tries to stretch out just behind here. And of course, play will continue. 42 minutes have been played so far in the first half. Long one, Emma Okui brushes it, but goes straight into the hands of Alamadine Omega, who plays a long one, looking for Olise Soku Jabate. His possession, Uganda, Liberia, gaining back. Madin Omega, Nathaniel Shamani, Tizitoluaga tries to put pressure on Nathaniel as they decide to let play continue. But Wiki Solomon runs out of ideas, plays the ball out. After Massa tried to also put pressure on him. It's another foul against Tony Maweje. Tony Maweje has won Uganda. Now three fouls in very, very sensitive areas. The first one, a goal from Andy Mwesiko was disallowed. As Alamadin there kicks the ball away from frustration. The referee from Chad insists that play my whistle. Don't kick that ball before my whistle. It's Tony Maweje, rather Emma Okui this time round and well, listen, we've got to on this one. Tony Maweje staying off it. Woo! 
as the friends. Leslie failed to make that count again. 1-0 shouldn't be good enough. I wonder why the men in yellow are relaxing here. Anything can happen. I mean, many people aren't in Algeria, but we were told Uganda was very, very, very wasteful then. Liberia got the chances and used them. It's again when party is there against Robert Odonkara. But this time, no harm has been caused, but a foul has been given for infringement by the lucky Liberian striker they call Ronaldinho. Just 23 years of age. Willie Patrick. I wonder why he got the nickname Ronaldinho. He is the total opposite of the Brazilian legend. Uganda, we have our own Ronaldinho's. I mean, Tistol Waga, Martin Kayoko, Moses Oloya. These are all players that we believe. The time is up. The 45 minutes are done, but it will be two minutes of added time. Yet to be indicated by the fourth official. Dennis Guma. Guma Dennis playing it back to the safety. Rather safety of his goalkeeper, Robert Onkara, who I believe has had an interesting first half together with his back four. Hassan Wasa. Of course, the two minutes of added time being confirmed there. Tisol Waga. The first assistant referee saying that he struggled with possession and played the ball out. Isine Isaac against Patrick Welly. They lose possession. Uganda almost gains it. No, it's Anton of four for Liberia. They move forward, trying to get a goal before first, the first half ends. Liberia walking towards Uganda's goal. A cross has been brought in, but no, being blocked by Guma Dennis there. As Hassan Waswa battles for the Eddie Boakai. Ture Onsu. Theo Wicks. Anton Lofo trying to brush it, but straight to give a hand to Robert Kajamkara. Sanwasa, Tizito Luaga, chipping one, but Emma Okwe didn't anticipate it. The kid is very desperate to go out there and prove a point. He has played two games before for Uganda, but all in not FIFA sanctioned competitions. As the referee from Chad said, Enough is enough in this first 25 minutes. Both teams will have to go back to the dressing rooms.